Hey there, boys and girls, and welcome to episode 143 of Sonic Boom TV. This is a uh, Record Store Day closer look at the Donnas. Uh, early singles, 1995-1999. Uh, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the previous video I made for my full uh, Record Store Day. There was a couple mistakes I made. Uh, I said the Yes album that I picked up for $2.00 was one of the record store day releases it wasn't that one it was something different and when i was talking about getting the uh going to the louisiana music factory uh i kept saying black friday but i meant to say record store day so uh but what i did end up buying was a black friday item and i think that was in my head for me to keep saying it. so anyway besides that uh, that's all i figured out that was messed up on the last one so we got the donnas now this is a band that I didn't own, I still don't own much by, um, as far as legit copies go, uh, but I wanted to show you what I do, uh, do have before I open this up and we look at it. Uh, I did have, uh, the only official release I've had by them is the Donna's Spin the Night on CD, in case needs needs a new case because it's cracked. Uh, but I also had a couple of of CDs, I must have downloaded these songs from somewhere in Napster or something, I don't remember. Uh, but there's this one, it's a CDR, and it's just, I just called it The Donnas. Uh, and I got 27 songs on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there was 27 songs I listed on there. Now, uh, I haven't really looked at these, I just pulled these out like five minutes ago. Then I had another one that I made, but I actually made a cover for, or not, not a cover, but a, a label, and it was The Donnas, Do You Want to Hit It? That's what I called it, and I must have stole that picture off the internet or something. Um, uh, I thought it was a cool picture. Uh, but on this one, there is 28 songs, and I wrote it on the back. I don't know if these songs are all different than the other one or not. Um, this was done long ago. Uh, long ago, that was Bernstein's. So anyway, when I saw this, I really wanted to get it, uh, and uh, and you know to have an official record. Uh, and some of these songs may be on that on that stuff. I haven't even compared it. So what we got is the Donnas, uh, 1995 to 1999, the early singles. Uh, it says 14 non-LP sides from everybody's favorite all-American female punk band includes insert with exclusive quotes from all four Donnas, metallic gold vinyl limited to 2,000 copies. Right? Um, I, I got this at Euclid Records in New Orleans. Uh, $32.99 was the, the price. Uh, so let's just get in there and open it up and see what's on the inside. Uh... I really like this band. I don't know why I didn't buy more of their stuff, or, you know, but I just, I don't know. It's one of those things, you know. So let's see what we've got. Make sure we get everything out. Okay, so we saw the cover already. Back cover. Got some pictures of stuff on the back there. The uh, must be the singles. Uh, then we've got a cool page. With liner notes, uh, looks like little articles. I don't know if that's real articles or uh, things that, you know, just made up stuff, whatever, I don't know. It's really small, so. Um, and then this side, we have the interviews with them. A um, couple of, this looks like when they were younger, and this may be a more modern photo here. Uh, Donna's at the, doesn't say, uh, but this looks like an older, or they're older there than that. That looks like when they were young. Um, and so we got that. And then the record itself is uh, comes in a polyline sleeve, with the, the nice kind with a little padded back kind of thing going. Not padded, but, you know, nicer. Um, and then we've got gold vinyl. Donna's on the thing. Uh, this is a... Uh, it's kind of a ochre is really the color. It's like yellow, but it's it's called gold. So um, it it's pretty close to what you're seeing on this video, I think. Uh, pretty cool. Um, if 
five songs on one side and nine songs on the other. Uh, put up by Real Gone Music. So if you didn't get this and you want it, um, Real Gone Music usually puts out something for Record Store Day and then they will come back and put it out on a different color. So there'll probably be maybe a black one or maybe there'll be a pink one or, or something. Who knows? Um, but they'll come out with a, a different edition that has more copies. Because if this only had 2,000, um, I'm sure it probably sold out pretty quick. And they will probably do another batch that probably has like 5,000 or something like that in a different color. And then maybe if that sells out, they might come out again with another version. Because I've seen them have several things on there, on their website, that uh, has uh, a, like a third pressing or whatever in a different color. Um, so... I just tried to get the one on record store day because I want it. Um, but I was this is one that I actually would have, if I would have had the money and I would have found a couple other things, uh, I would have uh, passed on it because I knew it was going to come out later. Um, so that's the Donna's. Uh, you know, I, I really expect this to be good and fun. Um, you know, and uh, good and fun. Uh, the back. So this okay. So this is more interview view type stuff on the back, uh, the, the the tracks. Which I guess I'll let you guys see that. Uh, we got high school yum yum, a boy like you. Let's rap, do do the do run run the do run run. So that's probably that song that we all know from the fifties. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to rock and roll tonight. Last chance dance. I want to be a unibomber. A uh, message from the Donnas, speeding back to my baby, wig wham bam, strutter, that is the Paul Stanley and uh, Gene Simmons uh, kiss song. School's Out, that's uh, Alice Cooper song, and uh, Keep On Loving You, which is the uh, REO Speedwagon. So a lot of covers on this. Um, this is going to be a great album, I believe, so I can't wait to listen to this. going to do that later on today. And that will be it for uh, this episode, a little short one. Uh, Check out the Donalds if you can. Um, I, I'm going to be probably trying to find more of their stuff once I listen to this because it's going to get me in that mood. And then I'm probably going to listen to this and the other things and I'm going to be wanting more. So um, that's it for this one. Be back with the next episode in a minute.